Welcome to our lesson on graphing quadratic functions in the form f of x equals ax squared. Reviewing vocabulary. A quadratic function is a nonlinear function that can be written in the standard form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a cannot be equal to zero. Let's look at this right here. If a were zero, the x squared term would be eliminated from this function, leaving us a linear function. All quadratic functions must have an x squared term. Parabola. A parabola is a u-shaped graph, which all quadratic functions are parabolas. They are all u-shaped. Here's our parent function. A has a value of 1. All other quadratic functions are transformations of the parent function. Graph below, right here we have an example of a quadratic function. All quadratic functions have a vertex, which is either the minimum or maximum point on the graph. On this graph, our vertex is a minimum. The vertex for all quadratics in the form we're talking about today, f of x equals ax squared, is always the origin 0, 0. The axis of symmetry is the vertical line, typically drawn as a dashed line when you graph a quadratic. It divides a parabola into two symmetrical halves. Today, the axis of symmetry for all quadratics in this form is always the y-axis or the line x equals 0. This graph here, reading it left to right, is decreasing until the vertex, and at the vertex it begins increasing. So let's just review characteristics of a quadratic function. They all have a vertex, an axis of symmetry. You can describe the domain as the set of inputs, the range as the set of outputs, and read the graph left to right to determine the decreasing half and the increasing half. Let's talk about two transformations, a vertical shrink and a vertical stretch. First, we have our parent function here graphed, y equals x squared, noticing that a is 1, and here's our function. The first example is a vertical shrink. It's the green function here, represented by y equals 0 0.5 x squared or one half x squared. When the absolute value, we don't care whether it's positive or negative when we're talking about a shrink or a stretch, when the a, the absolute value of a is between zero and one, so greater than zero but less than one, it is a vertical shrink. All the outputs are decreased by a factor of one half. So let's examine that. We have the point one, one on our parent function. If we multiply the output 1 by 1 half, we get 1, 1 half as an ordered pair. 1, 1 half. Let's look at this 2, 4. Multiply the output 4 by 1 half, and now we have the ordered pair 2, 2. So all outputs are affected by a factor of 1 half, shrinking the function towards the x-axis. Then we have a vertical stretch, which is our orange function here. It is the function y equals 4x squared. The absolute value of a is greater than 1, making it a vertical stretch. All the outputs, all the range values, have been increased by a factor of 4. If we return to the point on the parent function 1, 1, and multiply the output 1 by 4, we now have the point 1, 4. Let's talk about reflection in the x-axis. Here's our parent function again, the black dotted line, where a is 1. Now we see that a is negative 1, reflecting it in the x-axis. Now our vertex it becomes the maximum point on the graph when we have a reflection in the x-axis. How to graph a parabola, we have the function m, 3x squared. 
we're first going to create a table of values and plot the points. So I picked the five inputs here, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. You plug those in for x and evaluate for the output. Negative 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. Negative 1 squared is 1, times 3 is 3. Continue for all your inputs and then plot your points. So this black dashed line represents the parent function y equals x squared, and then we have our purple function m. All values are plotted here. Negative 2, 12, negative 1, 3, 0, 0, our vertex, our axis of symmetry. All right, your turn. I would like you to graph these three functions below. Please pause this video, take a minute to graph, label your vertex and axis of symmetry, and jot down your comparison of the transformation to the parent function. Hit play when you're ready to continue. Go ahead and pause. The solution for number one, graphing the function b equals 2x squared. I use the same five inputs. Here's our graph. And here's our description. Our line is, our axis of symmetry is the line x equals 0. Our vertex is 0, 0, which is a minimum. It's a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. Our domain is all real numbers, and our range is all real numbers y greater than or equal to 0. The solution for number 2 for the function g, 1 fourth x squared. Create your table of values. Plot your points and compare. This one's a vertical shrink by a factor of one-fourth. Our vertex is still a minimum. And your number three solution. Create your table of values, plot your points, and compare. We have this is a reflection in the x-axis, vertical stretch by a factor of five. The domain is all real numbers and the range is all real numbers, y less than or equal to zero here. Thanks for joining me today.